Welcome back to Half Torx, everybody. Uh, there's no one here. What does that mean? That means it's road trip time, baby. So Matt is about to pick me up. We are going to head to Black Label Coatings, uh, one of the best powder coaters around. Um, his name is Victor. He's one of my really good friends. As you can tell, the wheels are not on my car. So he has had them for a couple days. Uh, he has like broken them down to the three-piece wheels. He's put them in the acid tank. We're gonna make a road trip down there and we are going to film a little bit about what that process would look like. Um, the dude's super cool, it should make for a really entertaining video and we are really, really excited about it. I may film in the car, it'll just be me and Matt singing road trip songs, so maybe not, but I don't want you guys to see that. Uh, but yeah, so we will either see you in the car or at Black Label Coatings. All right guys. Like uh, Jeremy's already told you in the outro, I assume. I haven't watched it, so I don't know what he said, but we're at Black Label Coatings today. We are coating Jeremy's wheels for the Supra uh, with the homie Victor at Black Label Coatings. Uh, Victor is a magician. Like, you're going to see some stuff in here that is just insane. The fact that he does all this stuff with powder, uh, super legit, man. His shop is right here at his house. I'm not gonna tell you where he lives, but you know you can reach him. Uh, look him up on Instagram. We'll put a link up. I think we already did in the last video. But uh, Vic is a great dude. He's done some work for me in the past. He's done work for our buddy Charlie with the GTR. All kinds of stuff, man. But so we're gonna go in here and get into it and see how they turn out. And that's all powder. That's the front. Yeah. I like the color scheme. I love black and red. <laughs> all of these are all powder. And I don't know how much you guys know about powder, but we just tried to put a logo on the bottom ones and royally screwed it up. And this is all powder. It's incredible. Thank you. This The coys are awesome. I love yeah. that. So this is the color you're doing, right? Yep. Exactly. They're finished. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. We just gotta put them back together now. Yep. <laughs> That's insane, man. So you go here and then bake it. So it's a little electric gummy. He's on a much better level than we are. This is insane. It's so impressive. membrane, air goes in the bottom, comes up, pull it out of the 
hot. So it's if you like, stick your hand in there right now, uh, with your eyes closed, it's gonna feel like cool water. It looks like bubbling water, and that's yeah. just powder. Yes, sir. That's just powder in there. Yes, sir. Oh, that's awesome. That's our murder spot. That's wicked. So this is what makes my metallics look as good as they do. Yeah. You're suspending all that flake. You're not having dry spots. You're not having powder surges with bottling systems. This would be a terrible time to put in the video of us powder coating something. <laughs> with our little harvest our Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tracy, you just use a little bucket. Well, yeah. we made our own, so you can oh, buy okay. them from Zyber's Gaming. Uh, you can buy them from Gaming, but they're like 1100 bucks a piece. Wow. So I've got small ones. This one holds three pounds. Uh, I've got big five gallon versions. It separates our finishes from others. All our air goes through a cager. 10 horsepower screw, whatever screw for present. It's already filtered to death, right? That's not enough. So you come on back here. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, there's more. Oh wait, there's more. <laughs> oh wait, there's more filtration. So this is literally everything Tsunami has to offer. So it's as close to uh, laboratory grade clean as you can get. Wow. Uh, but for a paint shop, like this would be the dream setup for the liquid paint. And it's the same application. So my air comes out of here at I think a 31.4 degrees. So wow. So it's the cold, same setup for super paint. cool, super cold, super dense, dry air. Wow. We have a water trap. Uh on ours. Yeah. And we've got automatic water traps that go into the buckets. <laughs> yeah. We dump them out once a week. This is, this is basically what we have, so yeah. <laughs> same thing. <laughs> wow. Like, I knew you were next level, but this is next, this is next level on top of that. Yeah. Cager comes out once a year, services everything. Toyota comes out once a year, services the forklift. Um, that's the biggest thing in, in being productive in this, this line of work. Is you've got to have backups, you know, so mm -hmm. the PID goes out. You know, I've got a box of five over there. I've got a free lift in it. Uh, burners go out. And Blower for the big oven, fans for the big oven. Uh, got backups for all of them, even the blower. Yeah. How hot can your oven get? 500 500 That's what we outgas it. So outgassing is when you heat the metal. You ever taking a torch to a, like a piece of steel? Yeah. yeah. How it gets wet? Yeah. Starts sweating. So that's the initial stages of outgassing. So what we're doing is we superheat the metal to 500 degrees. It does not change the metal energy at all. Sweat all impurities out so it doesn't come out in front of the finish. Um, industry standard is 500 degrees for 45 minutes. Uh, we found out through years of trial and error that 500 degrees for five hours is what we do. And if a 99% of the time it, it cures any, any outgassing issue, we find out. Every once in a while, something's been contaminated like big billet wheels, uh, they show up raw. We'll soak in all that power shot. So what happens if you don't outgas it properly? Uh, your final finish looks like shit. It's got little uh, air bubbles in it, trash. Um, you'll see fish out for random containers. You know, uh, kind of the same thing with the way paint now gases. Yeah. Uh, you're seeing that impurity come up in the final. And that's one of the benefits about using primer. I get a, not the one we gave it to today, but I'm gonna get a brief, or a brief look into what the, what the finish is gonna look like in the future. Uh, if everything's laying nice and smooth, it's got a slick look, I'm not gonna be gold. If I start seeing stuff come up through the, through the primer, then I get a chance to take some, some 20 sandpaper, sand that out, clean it real good, and then put one more layer of primer on it, and that passes in. Put primer on everything to coat, like wheels and stuff like that, anything metal? Correct. Even the wood. Okay. So, we basically, it's the same process as paint. So, it's a little durable. Yeah, it's a little more durable. And a uh, ready lock cooker. Okay. So, yeah. what, what kind of, like when you're done, when you had the color on and everything, what do you put on top of that for like brake calipers or something to keep, you know, the fluid from messing up the finish? So, all my, all my, all the powder I offer, it has a chemical resistance. So, okay. as long as it's fully 
secure. If you do get brake fluid on it, you can wipe it off and not have no issues. Uh, the clear that I have produced for us, uh, it's more like a uh, on water brake clear where you can actually cut in up. Okay. Uh, but it's extremely resistant to chemicals. So That's cool, man. Do that, uh, a ceramic coating, no problems. Wow. And this is why we're here. He's the professional. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. I just want to know how he keeps it so clean. You guys have seen our powder ring. And you've seen how freaking dirty it is. And how awful it goes. Seems like we need to have a good shop cleaning day. Yeah. That's wicked. This is Black Label's color. 24 karat purple. 24 karat purple. 24 karat purple. That yeah. is so, cool. so sick, man. See like the gold fleck in it and everything. Yes. Whew. That's what color the wheels are going. Right. Yep. Three stage finish. <laughs> wow. Three stage. So base coat, mid coat, top coat. Wow. Beautiful. Back 
Premieren. So he's just doing a second coat of the black. Um, the barrels are already in the oven, as you probably saw. And he's finishing up the fourth Anybody would have the audacity to say that any of this is overpriced when you see this equipment and the amount of detail he puts into it. I mean, it's it's genuinely an art piece. It's freaking incredible. Um, and the amount of, like, all this equipment alone costs so much money. He should be charging more than he is. It's really incredible. So, about to throw in the faces. Said that with straight face. Thank you. Yeah. Now tell the truth. Uh, yeah, this puts us to shame. Uh, it's, yeah, it's not even. That's not even fair. It's kind of annoying. Right? How good he is. Yeah, it sucks to be around when someone's in town. So gosh. Yeah, I was about to say. So yeah. yeah. I'm really glad I talked him out of going pink on the wheels. Huh? What? Huh? So we're back from Black Label Coatings. Uh, he gave us a lot of pieces. I only gave him four wheels. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm supposed to do with these. Can Dude, these things look amazing. They do look incredible. Like Anybody who thinks that he's overpriced is, I don't know how you have that audacity to reclaim that. Like if you look at the equipment that he has, if you look at the time he takes to do this, if you look at the attention and detail he has, he should be charging way more than he is. So like anybody who claims that this is overpriced is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Not only that, but just an awesome guy. Yep. But his attention to detail, like he was saying, he's very meticulous. Like it was it was awesome and an honor to watch him do it. It was just so cool, man. And these are gonna look so killer on the Supra. We got a lot of work ahead of us. We've got a silicone them and torque all the, man, there's a lot of work to do. But right now, man, it's been a long day for me and Jeremy. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna eat a little bit uh, and then we'll kind of talk about, you know, putting the wheel together. Um, Victor Black Label Coatings was cool enough to like explain to us how to do everything. So yeah, we're gonna get into it, but let me, let me just get in on this face real quick. It's also incredible the weight difference between the barrels and the oh, it's insane, faces. Man. Cause these are literally throwable. <laughs> and these are so heavy. That's incredible. It's oh God, it looks so good on camera, but I wish you guys could see these things in person. Yeah. But anyway, we're gonna eat back in a minute. Theoretically, we put these inside of these, and you just pick any one of these <laughs> and just hope it fits. So we have to take the silicone, Silicon Valley, and you go an endless M around the whole thing. And then you go, what, 12, 3, 6, and 9, the bolt, 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 bolt. And then you tighten, 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 tighten. until all of them are tightened. Is that about it? Something like that. I don't know what we're doing. I have no idea, man. You might not ever drive this car again. Feels like it. Yeah, look at the size difference now that the TV is needed. That's crazy. That's insane. But keep in mind, guys, he, he does run a 355 tire on the back. Alright, let's start putting these things together.
clipping down every single bolt. To 18 foot pounds of torque. Basically just going in like a cross pattern and just mm, torquing them down as. Yeah, so you, you go up from those four. So you go from six to seven, 12 to one, you know, nine to 10, and three to four, and you just kind of go through and torque them down in that order. That's how Victor or Black Label told us to do it. That's how we're doing it. The hardest part is remembering which one you did last. You can also just pay Victor to do this for you. You can. You can pay Victor to. Uh, I'm not gonna say what he told us, but it, you know, it may be different per wheel or something like that. So I'm not gonna say that, but he will do it for you. Uh, but yeah. If you want anything powder coated and you can't do it yourself, like we can. Just kidding. Because if we learned anything today is, Lord, we're terrible at this, but Victor is like. I don't know, man, but if you want anything powder coated, man, check out Victor, Black Label Coatings. Awesome, awesome. It's also a lot easier if you have a friend to hold it for you. <clears throat> I'm only one man. I have one good arm. I get, what are you looking at? You looking at me? Oh, you need me. Oh, ah, I didn't realize we were friends. Okay, we got this, no problem. Day 363. <laughs> Today I've eaten three potatoes. Are you, it's 11:26. Are you quoting the Martians? Maybe. It's one of my favorite movies. It's Soul 367. There you go. I've got enough sacks of potatoes to last me another 366 souls. Dog, we just ate Chick Fil A. <sighs> How many nuggets did you eat? I think 20. <clears throat> He eats his chicken nuggets with mayonnaise. Let that sink in. Can I do my bit now? Gosh. What's the bit? Uh, I think I've made a breakthrough on growing potatoes on Mars. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow or the next day. Depends on when this guy gets off work. Because I'm unemployed, so I'm going to be working on them in the morning. You look so sad. Today was a great day. It was like five minutes ago. You said you weren't tired. I'm not tired. Now you're like you're about to fall over. You're I'm not literally. tired. Okay. Got three more wheels to do. Then we gotta let them cure for 24 hours and then we'll get tired on them, I suppose. Can't wait for none of this to make it in the video. <laughs> <laughs> See you in the morning. All right, good morning everybody. It's now the next day. I'm gonna start doing this by myself. Um, I need to get the tires on tomorrow so that we can work on Kaylee's wide body the next day. Um, so I'm gonna try and start doing it by myself. Kaylee may come out and help me. I'm not really sure yet. So, let's see if I can pull this off by myself. Patience doesn't exist here.
good evening everybody. Um, it is 2.18, the video is supposed to be posted 18 minutes ago, um, but we actually just got back from Slammer of Gatlinburg, or Sevierville, I guess, not Gatlinburg this time. Um, and I can't really explain how hectic it's been, uh, but we got them powder coated, we built them back ourselves. Uh, we had an air leak, so we had to get them rebuilt again, so that requires taking the tires back off. We had to put the tires back on, figure out that there was an air leak. Um, it's been a crazy mess. We finally got the tires back on, and then we had to drop it off at the shop to get the wing installed, which I'll show you guys in two seconds. Um, and then that took a week longer than it was supposed to. So then I brought it over to the detailer, because that was literally the day before I had to leave for Slammed. And then I figured out that the coating was ruined at the collision center, which is the place that was doing the thing. Uh, so then they had to repolish the whole thing overnight. And then that next morning, I literally picked up the car and went straight to Slammed, and now I'm back. In that time, there was no second of time where I could film these wheels. So they do have some brake dust on them now. Um, but for the final reveal of the wheels. Beautiful. Um, like I said, they are dirty. They are ceramic coated now, so I could probably wash them, but I want to get the video posted for you guys. Because um, we are 20 minutes late already, and I haven't even edited it. Um, but yeah, here they are, they are absolutely incredible, um, when they are clean, there is no brown or blue hue, it is straight dark black. And what's really cool is that the back ones aren't balanced yet, <laughs> because whenever I took them to the tire shop to get them installed, the black that he makes was so black that the lasers on the balancing machine, couldn't touch it. So it would just bounce right off and they literally could not balance the back wheels. Um, I figured that out hitting 100 on the way. Um, it feels like the whole car is gonna fall apart. Uh, it's totally crazy. Um, but anyway, here's the final full reveal of the car. Isn't she gorgeous? Um, I've got a lot of content coming out pretty soon. Uh, we did a lot of content with JDC whenever I was there. But dang, it's looking so good. It's coming together. Um, after going to Slammed, um, I did not take in a Warholm, unfortunately. There were a lot of really, really incredible Supers there. Uh, it raised my standard for myself, for sure. Um, and I thought my Super was freaking incredible, which it is. Uh, but they had third, second, and first, and I didn't take any of them. Um, so I know exactly what I'm gonna do now. Every Super just had me be in these little tiny categories. Um, so now I'm just gonna go back and be very, very nitpicky, and I'm gonna touch every piece of this car, um, and we're gonna have the cleanest Supra on planet Earth. That's the goal. I'm stating it now. Uh, I can't wait. We've got some parts coming already uh, that we've had coming for a while that I'm excited to put on, uh, but we'll get to that later. There's a helicopter, hopefully that's not too bad for you guys' audio. <laughs> um, and I'm sure the sun is really bad right now, but we literally just got back and I have to get this filmed. Um, but anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I know this one was a doozy. We did not expect it to take this long. Uh, but as you know, with car stuff, when something can go wrong, it will. Um, and I've just had the bad, like the worst luck over these last couple of weeks. Um, so I appreciate you watching the video. Uh, let us know down in the comments what you want to see next, or if you have any tips on any of the stuff that we've ever done. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Have a good one.